Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's a beautiful day, April 21. We still remain behind the curtains. I know that many people there are a little despair, a little disappointment, but we have to obey the law of the land. Actually, it's a test for all of us Christians. Test if our patience is in the right level. Second, maybe they test us in order to see how we react, how we protest. Right now, I believe soon in my spirit that this situation shall move by the grace of God and people shall receive the freedom because 2 Corinthians 3.17 says here, Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I mean, that's it. What we read, we must believe that Jesus mean it. I know there is many plan around the world because the great deceiver is in the right side, waiting to fulfill his plan. But you don't estimate that Jesus has his own plan. As I say before, the part one video, that all the time when the earth facing challenges, trials, tribulation, always Jesus was there for humanity to save them, to support them, to give them back the smile. Thank God that we have Savior who has dominion upon us. We surrender our life. We are born again by the Spirit of God. So any plan against our body, virgins, or plan to destroy us cannot be fulfilled if Jesus don't allow that. I mean, so where Jesus is, there is freedom. There is a happiness. He tells us actually, I came on this earth to have life and that abundance. I mean, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The prophet Amos, chapter 3, verse 7, says that I will hide what I have to do to the prophets because that is the perfect relationship. When we pray for breakthrough, we pray for the nations, we pray for souls, in order many to accept Jesus' Savior this critical time on the earth. But also the Holy Spirit speaks to us His plan. Right? We are not unknown. We are not without security. <laughs> His precious blood still works after the cross of Calvary. I mean, the Holy Spirit has been stolen in our body. Sometimes I feel as human beings, till you know, questions or something. Always the Holy Spirit is there to support us. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. I don't leave you. I don't forsake you. Hallelujah. He loves us with his amazing love. So don't believe all those philanthropists on the wall who prepare for us something. It's devices out of the will of God. Because if God has planned for us, who can be against us? Who can make his plan? When you accept Jesus as Savior in your heart, you don't need any other plan. You don't must to listen to what the flesh says. Actually, the Bible says the new world order plan, they will work among those who reject Jesus, not for those who surrender their life to the Lord. I mean, the first time we see from the book of Matthew, chapter 24, what Jesus tells us about the beginning of last days is in the beginning for trials, tribulation, and all of that. And today, we will see from the book of Daniel, this prophet of God tells us a lot of things beautiful, he tells us, as a useful person in God's hand, what's going on for today. God says to Daniel, close this vision, because it's for last days. So, in the book of Daniel, I want to read a little to see the story of this man and his three friends, Sedraf, Mishach, and Avdenego, who they lived in captivity in a Babylonian king, Nebuchadnezzar was a chosen vessel from the king who in the beginning test them and they show that this people of God has wisdom, has peace, has smartness, how to survive. Actually, the most important was the faith. They honor God before men. Hallelujah. That we must be today. It's not matter what you listen. It's not matter what you see outside. 
The kingdom of God is already inside. When the Holy Spirit dwells in your heart, you are cardinate of the kingdom of heaven. That's it. You are informed. You are ready to receive any helping from the Lord. Okay? Just increase your faith. Stay faithful to God. The most important secret is sin no more. Because sin is the root of all pain. I want to tell you something. If in an area there is not sin, there is not problems. That's it. So if you live like this and worship God every day by His Spirit, with open heart, open mind, we can say like today, me and you, all right? I lift my hand, Lord. And I love you. You're my Savior, my blessing provider. <laughs> Thank you for the cross of Calvary, for your sacrifice, my Lord, for your precious blood. Thank you that you are a great healer. You are my deliverer in a difficult time. Remember when Moses brings out of the Egypt to Israeli people, he feeds them with manna. He has everything. He don't leave them without solution included. When the test coming in the book of Exodus says that when the Pharaoh was behind and the Red Sea was in the front line, plus some people murmuring to Moses, there was a great challenge for the first time. That's because sometimes don't be disappointed when you accept Jesus that some trials, tribulations comes in your life. Because always I says your assertion shall be suspicious under approved with a real situation, trials or tribulation. You can be in true if you don't pass the examination if you don't pass the test. You go to university, you go to high school, you go to apply work or anything else. People must know who you are. And if you are worthy to accept that blessing, the same in Jesus. Yes, you accept Jesus, but you must walk with him and for him. He's gonna be in front of you and I follow, you follow, she follow. <laughs> Uh, hallelujah. So the same to Israel. They go out when the challenge comes. Jesus used this man of God, the Moses, and from unusual spring, nobody imagined with his anointing that God says to him, what do you carry on your hand? It's a rod. Beat the sea and break through. Everybody was surprised. Signs and wonders every day. As Christians, I'm sure that you have personal testimony. You have experience with the Lord. There is not a Christian person without experience. Hallelujah. Means what Jesus has done in your life. You have to be ready to testify to others. The same in Israel. We read the book of Exodus and all of that great books to inspire us how the Lord provides. He says he gives them every morning manna. And when the manna fell down on the earth, the Bible says there comes the dew. When the dew comes on the earth and the manna upon, they were clean. But there is an explanation about that. God revealed me when I was a young leader that the dew is the prayers before the blessings. First you must pray and then after blessings. The same to Israel. And then they gathering them every day, not too much for the next day. Every day the Lord provides. That's because today I'm a little surprised that many Christians, they panic. They go to the supermarket for 18 hours and they buy more and more refrigerator. What all of that things if Jesus is a blessing provider? I don't understand. When you trust in God, means that Jesus has authority upon your life, he's loved you and he's going to provide you everything what you need. So go to the supermarket, buy fresh things, buy organic things, few days and then goes back. Always refresh. Hallelujah. <laughs> Daniel was a man from captivity, chosen vessel to do something. Unfortunately, sometimes we weigh things and Jesus changed in different ways to come the blessings. Like Joseph. Joseph never pushed himself on the dry pit. Somebody pushed him. <laughs> and he never complained. He said, something the Lord is going to do that. Oh my God. Beautiful. Moses was a murderer. Killed somebody. But 
they serve purpose with that because his life changed. That because sometimes don't expect what is your thought that blessings come through your thought. Expect what Jesus has planned for you. That because we have to say every morning, what is from me, Lord? You want me something to do new and I don't know? You want to send me somewhere? Did needs my neighborhood some blessings? Hallelujah. Did I have to call somebody who is disappointment to encourage them? That's Christ's mission. I remember those days that they say stay at home. The Lord will reveal me my servant. Be cool and calm. I have a job to do. Bless with prayers my wounded souls. And that's what I did. And also I write a book, Life Behind Curtains. The best influence is the Holy Bible to us. But sometimes you need a little help. Only those who has Holy Spirit can understand the Holy Bible. Those who try to read, they get the philosophers in the house of the Lord. We don't need philosophers. We need spiritual people. When they say that, say the Lord, mean it. Too many voices. That's because Jesus says to us, don't believe when people say, I am here, I am there. Don't go there, don't move yourself. I am in you. That's best. Praise the Lord. So Daniel was in the garden of Nabuchodonosor. Nabuchodonosor has a dream and he forgot his dream for purpose. Those wisdom people who was around them, he called them and said, hey, I want to tell me what I read and to explain me the dream. Wow, difficult. So those magi, smart people and all of that, people with human qualification, they said, oh king, it's impossible somebody to explain you because that comes from God. Hallelujah. They find it, a man with not human wisdom, but with Christ, was Daniel. Daniel goes to prayer. And after prayer, the Lord introduced his servant to the king. He says here in the second chapter, King, the mystery revealed to me by the grace of God. You saw a big icon, Nebuchadnezzar, and that is the explanation. Four years ago, when I was a young leader in Greece, I make that picture here. Always I have that. This is the icon that Nebuchadnezzar sees and Daniel explained him. In this icon, King, you see that the head was from fine gold, the breast here and the arms from silver. Every part of the body was different. And here, the feet was from clay. We're talking about 606 before Christ that happened. The third form says here about the icon that a big stone from heaven goes upon that icon and destroy. Means that's all the history of uh, Babylonian Embassy to the Middle Persian Empire. From Babylonian, around 600 years before, to Persian, 536 about. We have after the another empire, the Greek Empire, means Alexander the Great, travel and captivity all the world those years, and was 33 years old that he passed away. Something minute he passed away 33 years old. And I will show you that after those empires, the Babylonian destroyed by Persians. Persians empire destroyed by Greeks with Alexander the Great, he captivity all. But when he passed away, his empire divided in four of his soldiers. One was Egypt, one is with Assyrian, one is Roman, and one is Greek, all right? Actually, he pays the price for this explanation to us today. I have to say that because she was very powerful, prayer. Every day she opened the window and pray, worshiping God until the people makes conspiracy against him and says to the king, King, he don't respect your law. He worshiped another God, not you. So Daniel, as Christ, that we need today. We need the spirit of Daniel, powerful spirit, who rejected the plan of, yes, he informed the king what's going on, but 
he rejects the Lord. He opens the windows and worshiping God. And after so many years, Jesus says to Samaritan woman, My father is a spirit, and he wants to worship him by the spirit. John 4, 23-24. Because my God looking for those worshipers. I want to tell you something. I'm not against religion. It's not my business here. I'm an evangelist of God to evangelize the good news to the people. But if God is a spirit, he wants spiritual connection. You can put an icon in front of you and a candle to worship God through that idols. You can be a real Christian to have a statue to worship God through the statue. This is high level of abomination. Jesus pays the supreme price for you and you have idols in front of you to be mediator between you and God. But Jesus sends us already mediator. His name is Jesus. That's it. I don't know in your language if it's Jesus or Jesus Christos or any other name. We mean the same name. In English it's Jesus Christ Savior. That's it. So he wants his people to learn to communicate with him by the Spirit, not by icons and idols. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, one day what the human hands create, they will be destroyed. They throw out. The Bible says they throw the icons in the mall and in the bats. Means there comes the intelligence that they don't eat all the things. Jesus wants when you worship to fill it with the Holy Ghost, to pray with open heart, to pray by his Spirit or to speak with unknown tongues. Means you don't know what you say, but the Holy Spirit understands your language. Speaking in tongues, worship God, believe in what you say is from the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah! So, King brings him penalty, they put him in the lion den. But <laughs> I'm going to tell you something beautiful. Nothing touches him. They become a friend with Daniel. And when the king sees that phenomenon, he say, you are a real man and your God is a real God. <laughs> king testifies that. So needs that faith of Poseidon. If later the gate getting narrow, when you deny in front of the people, you don't know what is the plan of Jesus to bring you from of those interesting people of the world to say, oh, no, 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 I don't put your vagin. I don't put your mark here. I don't allow to put the numbers here. I belong to Jesus. And you don't have to worry what they do for you. Because already they bring law. They cancel your personal rights. They do what they want to do. Jesus informs us. It's coming time that they kill you and they think that they sacrifice to God. That's all lies. Hallelujah. We must use God's victory as own victory. That's it. So they put him and the lions. Nothing touch him. And then when the Messiah Shadrach Yavinago, when they deny you to worship in the king, because Nabuchodonosor exalted himself as a real God, they put them in the fire furnace. But <laughs> I'll tell you something, when the king saw inside, somebody else was there. I think it was Jesus there with them. They cover, they say, oh, my kids, don't worry, I'm here. <laughs> Nothing can touch you. All the time, when his people is in dangerous zone, always Jesus was there to support them. They got victory. From victory to victory, praise the Lord. Until the Lord sees that this man, Nebuchadnezzar, who represent the pride. He created worshiping him with six musical instruments. So I have to go in chapter three, verse 10, six means something. And the instrument was sound of cornet, flute, symphony, and all of that. Chapter three, verse 10, you will see all this musical instrument. Six means today, as I say before, the Antichrist, is in the corner, but his church is not ready because six big churches around the world, Orthodox, Catholics, Hindu from India, Muslims, Buddhists too, six. They will unite and that shall be the Antichrist church. They think that all belongs to God and we must unite together. But Jesus don't agree with that. First, he visits his people, he prepares his people and he works with them by the Spirit. 
If I am in prayers and I pray, how the Muslim says Amin? They don't understand me. The spiritual things explained by the Spirit. So, they make already plan. Some Catholics leaders and all of them, but it's a little difficult to come up. That's because when this religion comes, worldwide religion, you will see all the things around. Development. <laughs> but the target of this trials and tribulations that people of God pass it already is because he wants to inform us. And they says here, Daniel shows four big beasts, lion, bear, leopard, and the beast with ten horns. The beast was terrible, and from his head comes up horns that I believe this is the Antichrist empire all over the world. And she says from the ten horns there comes a small horn. I know many things, but I don't want to share at the moment. It's not timely about Alexander the Great. They will find it his grave because the sperm has to be from him. And with Jewish, of course, background, because how to accept him, Messiah, out of their country? It's a little complicated. In the 11th chapter, verse 36, you will see what is the qualification of this great deceiver, means Satan. He is going to come, install himself into this man. The verse story says here that the king, he means the Antichrist, he is going to do what he wants. And he exalts himself from all other gods, means he's going to reject. He's going to come like independent person. It says here, he's going to be prosperous. You see, many factories, many business close, and people get in despair. They don't have money to survive, to pay rent, and all of that. But the big companies, Amazon, Google, they're getting prosperous. Netflix, people complain that when they read the movies, affect their life. They have tears. That's because I'm telling you, don't stay down and watch worldly movies if you are a Christian. How after you going to say, Alleluia? It is impossible. Your prayer never shall be accepted by God because King David says, Psalm 101 verse 3, I don't put from of my eyes bad things. So do not complain if you're watching all these worldly movies, our lives shall be affected. The Antichrist shall talk, that revelation says. I'm going to make another video how the Antichrist is going to control all the nations, to exalt himself, to put the people to worship him. They will watch you through your cell phone, through the TV, if we do or not. And they will penalize you. That's because today they put antenna all over the world and people reacted. People are smart. They know the gospel. Here in the United States, in England, I saw yesterday, they burn all this antenna. 53 antenna they burn down. They say we don't need that kind of connection. Of course, I mean we are Christian, we have to react under the Holy Spirit. But we have to say no, or to, to control you through your cell phone with 5G, and then later comes the code 6. You see? The 6 open all the computer, only the 6. They try years back to open internet with 7, and they can't. Only with 6 is the number of darkness. With that number, unlock situations. That's because the code 6 is going to control your life. The Antichrist is going to speak with people. That's because they use that problem of coronavirus to start plan against the people of God. And all the humanity, actually. Antichrist don't care for the human beings. He exalts himself. That Daniel says here, the lies shall be prosperous for reason, eh? And he's going to exalt himself upon all those gods. Until God says, enough is enough. I mean, Torah 7 says, he's going to reject all those gods before. He's going to come without desire of woman. Means his body don't react like a normal human being. In the book of Genesis, when he created Adam and Eve, it says to the woman, you have to be desire of men. Today, included if you high level of spirituality and you have a wife, you must have desire to, to connect with her. That's blessings. So he don't care about that. I don't reject them. Gay, lesbians, all of them. I don't condemn, that's not my business, because I saw 
that it's smart people, many of them looking for salvation, many of them receive healing deliverance, and they will be part of Christ. Yes, to God's power nothing is impossible, but they must go to God, not go to Antichrist. So this man who is going to come shall be from this company. Hallelujah. She's going to exalt herself with diamonds and golds and flowers. Fake love. So don't believe. Stay stable. I mean, praise the Lord for the Holy Spirit who works those days among us. The Psalm says when the gold is in fire, the gold is getting more clean. It means like receive every trials as a blessing. That you're going to have breakthrough. Be careful what you say. Don't complain. The reason that Jesus allowed that today, worldwide crisis, is because you want to find your love is getting more strong. Your faith is going to get in more big. The power inside you is going to be more powerful. From a little child of God, you're going to feel soon warrior under the anointing. That's because Isaiah 10, 27 says, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Hallelujah. It's impossible as a Christ leader to believe that if you carry anointing to demons to defeat you. I say you one day public, there is not enough power of this world to shut my mouth. All the time my mouth shall be able to preach the world, to prophesy, to teach people, to help people, to lay hand upon people, to encourage people, to provide people. That is the Christ Church. That the Bible says this is new religion. To visit those who is in prison, to visit those who is suffering the bed in the hospital, to give them a little smile and hope that Jesus exists. Sometimes people say, I'm going to work for the Lord. Well, what do they mean works for the Lord? That is work for the Lord. Go find it who is around you, needs you. Go visit some poor family and give them some of your clothes. Visit your closet. If you have five coats, give one to somebody. Don't try to give the old version from your mother. Give something good. Bring them in the supermarket. Hallelujah. Donate around you who is in need. Open your heart, forgive your children. As mother, what they do for you. If you are a father, forgive your kids. Pick up the phone and call them. Hi, my daughter. How are you? I miss you. Hi, my son. Did you need me? I'm here. That's true religion. If that is religion, I accept that religion. Hallelujah. I don't think so that God is going to give you a million dollars to go to Africa to help them. It's good. But I show that today the Lord bless many ministers. They get in millionaires. They have luxury life, actually. They have big houses like mansion with the tithes of the people. Why they use that money of God? Jesus is going to penalize them. He's going to visit them. Yes, sometimes Jesus will under corruption explode. They will become in any bad situation. He's not comes right away. He comes later. You remember when disciples was in the boat, <laughs> rowing the boat all the night, and Jesus came four in the morning when the dark is very heavy. And they think that, oh, this is the ghost. She said, Jesus is me. Why are you afraid? Oh, what's going on here? He comes late all the time. Many situations comes upon your life. Difficult situation upon difficult situation. Jesus is going to allow in order to prepare you for the challenges ahead. He wants to see how to handle situation. Not only when everything is good, you have a good car, oh, you kiss everybody, you're happy, you have a new job, when they increase your salary, you have party, oh, praise the Lord, my vacation was beautiful, that's good, I don't say don't go, but when a difficult time comes, and summer, <laughs> you are in the house, unable to do many things, just in your garden, around your house, <laughs> then we will see if you are a Christ person or not. When you pick up the phone, there are two ways to use your mouth. You complain about the situation or you encourage people. No worry, honey, we overcome. We are Christ people. I see that soon those black clowns shall be moved off our country. Start bless the government. You can be a Christian person 
to criticize the government. That Apostle Paul said, read his epistle to Timothy. And you will see, when washing was in Rome, Apostle Paul advised pray for government in order to live uprightly. A good Christian person is a person who don't critical and criticize the government. Is a human being who pray for the government. And don't be a political person. If you are a Christian, one time with Republicans and one time with Democrats, the Bible says give to Jesus white vote. If you vote Jesus to be a president in your life, just leave it. I belong to this party. I belong to this party. Oh, I don't belong to them. I'm a communist. Go to see your example, Lenin and Stalin, how many people kills. Millions of people pass away because of them. Bad people, because they don't allow Jesus to be ruler in their life. To be honest, the kingdom of darkness organized perfect to kill, to steal and destroy, in order everything. But the church of Christ divided yet. Somebody said, I belong to this ministry, There's another ministry, Pentecostal, uh, baptism. Who gives them authority to put names on the churches? Church of Christ is one, the bride. The book of Revelation, there was seven churches and only one, Philadelphia, who was perfect, the pastor. That's the church of rapture. Philadelphia is the Greek word, like philos and adelphol, mixed friends and brother. That's the best. One church, one God, one spirit. Hallelujah. One father, one Bible. That's because I find it no unity. We pray, Jesus comes on this earth. Okay, if I come, what I will find? Everyone has his own church. Yes, it is good, but the church they never connect with others. Pastors, they never invite other ministers to preach when the other ministers has more powerful than him. He pray because they people, they will say after, okay, if this man has signs and wonders, why you don't have? They don't want to connect to learn more. There are believers, okay, they baptize themselves, all of that, but nothing else. No high level of authority. Church needs that kind of power of the anointing today and unity. Heaven has order and law. Every time that big event on the earth, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they cooperate today. There are meetings in heaven in order to see what they have to do. Pray for unity if you love the Lord. The Lord broke the hearts of the people to learn to say, I'm sorry, forgive us, Lord. This is stubborn spirit must move from the Church of Christ. Hallelujah. If my message touches your life, go to the book of Daniel and see everything. I'm sure that the Holy Spirit is going to impact your thoughts, give you new thoughts to see all about what uh, Daniel says for us today and for the Antichrist, his activity, his qualification, how it comes through. And pray for me and I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus. Touch the screen of my YouTube channel and say, Lord, I need your help. I need a divine touching of my brain, spirit of discernment to understand what's going on those days. Help me to follow your voice, only your voice to impact my heart, my brain and my life. Use, Lord, those ministers who has anointing to bring us a real messages. Hallelujah. We need help. We need power of your anointing. Support us, Lord. Touch every situation, Lord, in my house. Financial support, Lord. Give me wisdom to have financials in my house. Divine healing, Lord, in my body. In order not to be my body temple of darkness or temple of sickness but temple of the Holy Ghost. Lord, forgive my sin, forgive my mistake, and set me free to worship you. Give me a new testimony. Give me a second chance. I'm your child. So if this prayer touches your heart and you have a testimony, send me johnsavlaris at gmail.com or visit my website johnsavlaris.com. You will see miracles, signs, and wonders, whatever your life needs. Use those pages on the internet who bless you to increase your spiritual life. Don't visit internet pages with dirty information, lies, and all of that, and fake news. Your life shall be affected. Use the Holy Bible as the best instrument of results 
and walk in the light of your testimony. Amen.